bouncing along the bottom is better than falling up into a right, hole. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but when, when Barack Obama sold the stimulus plan on the people in this nation, he said that the unemployment rate would not go lower than 8%. Oh, am please. I, am, uh, am I, am I hey, right? Yeah, that's what he said, but you know what happened. What Bruce, happened? Bush gave him a load full of poop in his lap, and then he said, make a cake out of it. And, but then let me ask you this question. At what, at what point What point do we stop blaming Bush and we start owning and what, the at what point, Obama administration? At what time own, do we start the blaming the 1929 crash on Roosevelt and not blame Hoover? Everyone blames Hoover. Yeah, but I think we can okay, blame well, a lot of these New Bush. Deal politics. Bush, Bush did it. It was the Glass-Steagall Act in 1999. That which was is, Clinton. Which, that was under Clinton, but it was also a Republican. There, both parties are at fault. He I'm not saying coded. it's one party or the other. But you guys are running off way off to the right end here, and you're saying cut, 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 and you're, we're going to go down, down, down. And then who's going to? You're going to say, oh, it's Obama's fault because he was the one sitting in the chair. So you don't think there's any? You don't think there's anything that the federal government net cut? You think? Let, let me ask you something. You, so you think the Department of Education no. is a viable and a very good um, 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 component so, right, of the right, U.S. government? Okay. Tell me what government. happened. If you eliminate the Department of Education, what's going to happen to the poor states and the poor communities in the poor states? It gets turned back over to the states and the a communities. Poor state. A poor state it, is going to have poor they're schools. They're already sending money. No, I don't think that's true. Absolutely. Because the charter. What you do? What you do? I mean, so, so school. That's, so, I mean, if you turn it back over to the states, and then the states decide that they want to give vouchers, you don't think that's a good thing? Giving vouchers for schools depending, and allowing depending, free choice, depending on who you're giving it to. In Miami, they started a, a policy where if, if you're in, if your kids in a, in a, a D or an F rated school, yeah. then you can get uh, some of the most successful. But Scott, but Scott, but Scott wants to undo that and say give give vouchers to anybody who wants it. That's wrong. So all right, so you're against vouchers? No, I'm not. Well, you just said giving vouchers is wrong. If you're in failing school. Okay, so but if you're, you're in a poor. family school and you allow them to I take that voucher and go to a better school, you're against that. No, no, that's See, here's my problem with here's my problem with the liberal progressive you're ideology. Trying to, on this. You're trying to twist no, my no, words. No, I didn't say anything you just said. Well, let me ask you this question. This is my problem with the liberal progressive ideology when it especially comes to the Department of Education and and schooling our our children. Is this is that you know. Liberals and progressives, yes, they are staunchly against vouchers, but okay. but but a lot of them are are for um, uh, for Pell grants, for food stamps. Those are all a form of vouchers. Well, so my point is, is that and, and, you know, if it's, we're it's good enough to give a of, snap people a snap card right to help food, people get nutrition, and, and why can't we give them a card depression. to help them go and and pick the correct school that they First want? First of all. That the EPA, I mean the uh, Department of Education, is not the main problem in, in this government. The main co uh, problem in this government right now is whistleblower protection, which Obama said he was going to give, right. but he turned around, he's stomping on all the whistleblowers. There's so much corruption in the government that only government people know, and, and uh, since they're going to squelch that, let me ask you we're not getting to the bottom. Let me of ask you this question: Do you have any idea what percentage of school funding across the United States goes to the classroom? No, fifty-two percent. Good. Which means 48% goes administration. It doesn't even hit the children. How can you possibly it also, advocate also go for into that? Building schools? No, that is just a recurring tax revenue. Okay, whistleblower That's not including the whistleblower capital. protection, and that will be exposed. It's, but it's already been exposed. Well, it's the administration some more. knows about it, but no, they're no, not no, doing they're anything about it. No, no, no. They're stomping on whistleblowers. They're no. stomping on whistleblowers. Fifty-two percent. Well, since the Department <coughs> of Education has been instituted in the federal government, you know, test scores, the NAEP test, the NAEP test scores have flatlined for the past thirty years. You don't have a whistle. How, there you know. How can you, you don't understand? This, this, this is, this is not the main problem. No, it's not, but it's a problem. But I gotta That's go what they're out there for. They're here to make a jerk out of people. We're here. 